so in this video i'm going to be talking about a tool that is well underrated in this photography industry which is camera roll filter most people don't usually use camera roll filter and i don't know why but in this video i'm going to be talking about five tools that is actually powerful in camera roll filter these tools will actually improve your editing skills and probably add more creativity to what you know already if you are new to this channel my name is ademola and i'm known as ademola studios on all platform you can think about i do editing and i do show behind the scenes of everything i do if you know you want to follow me on this journey or see what i do just kindly hit the subscribe button like this video if you gain something from it and share it to your friends they may actually gain something from this video now let's get to the main screen and let's see what we have for today so the first two we are going to be talking about is called maxing in camera raw filter let's go into it and let's see what masking can do on a normal note we have maxing right here in our normal photoshop if you check here we have it over here but right now is in camera raw filter and you can do a lot with it in, in fact they made it more easy let's go into it so come over to your selected layer and come over to filter and camera raw filter once you click on camera raw filter you have this opened and you will see your image you can even click here and it's going to show you the before and after but let's just focus on one and see what we can do come right here to this place this thing you can this circle stuff you can see is called maxing and you can just click on it here you can become creative with your color grading and you can do different things camera raw filter made it so easy that you can use subject once you click on subject it's going to select the subject right in the picture if you click on sky if you have sky like now we have sky in this image i'm just going to click on it and it has selected the sky over here and i can do anything with it if you check it out so look at, let me click on this is on before and after sorry about that let's just click on this here this is it so it has selected the sky and now you can do anything you see this red sign it means that the exposure is way too high so let's reduce it down and i can reduce the highlight on the sky i can do anything with it so let's take it back to normal and let's delete it over here because i'm not here for that i'm just showing you what it can do now we have background it can select the background for you if you click on it you have the background selected and if you know you, do, you don't want to select this you can just come over to subtract and click on brush and you can just clean the side is that easy i mean very easy so let's come over here and let's delete this that's when we come to background maxing we have different kind of maxing over here we have the objects you have landscape we have brush we have linear gradients we have radial gradients and we have range let me explain what these linear gradients can do they use most times the color grid especially when it comes to all these outdoor shoots you can drag it over here if you drag it like this that means this place is becoming um faded that means the fade is very 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 light if you come over here drag it like this and drag it from here that means the fade won't be way too much the fade that means i mean the transition we made it to be very very obvious if i click on exposure over here you can see that line is there but if i want to make it softer you can also drag it from here if you want to make it darker like this let's say we want to make this object show very well let the eye capture the object sorry the subject not the object you can just take this like this and drag this like this then click here to see it you can see so if you check the before and the after now let's say we want to make this side the same thing you can come over to this place create new marks create linear gradient and do the same thing like this remember this place is to drag down if you don't want the fade to be obvious like this so let's fade it a little bit up and we can make it dark like this you can see what the linear gradient is doing and that thing people use is the radiant gradient very easy come over here select the subject like this let's say we want to highlight the subject select it like this then come over to this three dot over here click on it and click on invert marks you're going to have something like this now the attention is on the bride so what we can do is reduce the exposure down like this 
and the shadows down. If you check it out, here's the before, here's the after. Maxing is so beautiful in camera raw filter that we can use it to color grade. You can also reduce the temperature outside that you can you can only play with exposure. You can say okay, I want the outside to be very so you click on it. So you can say I want the outside to be very yellowish or I want the outside to be very bluish, just depending on you. Warm and sunny. <laughs> you can also come over here and play with curves if you want to way easy that's all about that's like the surface about maxing a camera or a filter another tool i'm going to talk about is the reflection tool now this tool is so wonderful i don't use it a lot but people that do street photography and outdoor photography you might actually like this particular tool so come over to this particular layer come over to filter and let's go to camera or filter that's what we're talking about for today now if you come over to camera or filter over here you can see that there's reflection over here this is someone's creative shoot obviously but i'm using it as an example for you in case you are in any situation you want to remove reflection so what you just do is come over to this eraser tool here then what you just do is come over to reflection quality should be on best and just click on apply and all you have to do is to relax and see what photoshop will do to you can you see this is so amazing yes before and yes after before after so easy now that's what we're going to be talking about is the adaptive portrait preset in camera or filter people don't talk about this i don't know why but it's very interesting let me tell you why it's interesting this is not it's but it's a preset right in photoshop so come over to your layer over here come over to filter and come over to camera or filter once you're in camera or filter come over to this circle over here this is where you have your presets you can click on shift p to see it so we're just going to click on it and we have different kind of presets but we're just going to be talking about only one which is the adaptive portrait especially for retouching now this is very useful after you've retouched your picture you can just use this one to enhance it a little bit so what i do is i come over to this adaptive portraits yeah you see different tools let me just close all of them you're going to see different ones over here but let our focus be on this adaptive portrait it's going to help you when it comes to retouching so come over to adaptive portrait here click on it and it's going to do an awesome job it's not actually very obvious because i've not retouched the picture but you can try it out so if you increase it you can see the difference it's just enhancing the portrait you can come over to glamour portrait and click on it you can increase and reduce it over here you can come over to the polish i don't use that i don't use this i use smooth facial skin so there are some times where you are retouching and the skin is just stubborn you can come over here to just enhance it a little bit this one is to enhance eyes make it white whitening teeth is here darken eyebrow is also here texture air is also here smoothing air and enhanced clothes is also here so we've done a lot in this picture you might not see it but if you check the before and here's the after but please use it after retouching it's not a tool that will replace your retouching at all it's just to enhance it our fourth tool for today is the geometry cropping or geometry cropping wherever let's say you have an image that is not straight i'm going to use this for example here's how you have to do you just go to camera or filter like we do camera or filter now this image is straight sorry for the quality i just have to like look for one image or whatever this image is straight but we want to look it make it look straight in a way so come over right here and you have this geometry too so what you can do is you can play with the vertical you can play with the horizontal you can make it rotate if you want you can the aspect ratio you can widen it you can scale it let's let's make it straight a little bit so i'm just going to play with the horizontal let's turn it like this and let's rotate it in this manner like this and aspects like this yeah you get what i'm saying i don't need to do too much this image is actually okay and the best part about it is when you have empty space like this you have generative expand and with this generative expand you are not actually touching your credit score with generative fee in adobe that's why it's nice you can see it did the perfect job and we can choose different variations so here's one here's two 
just choose any one so if you check it out yes before and after and click ok that's the usefulness of that geometric tool which is very nice another tool we're going to be talking about is is variance this variance is very good when it comes to skin color it's just help you merge the skin color together if you're having there's sometimes where you snap client and the client is just having different skin tone from her body this helps a lot come over to this place here and come over to select subject what we're going to do is just to play with our point color so once you come to point color you see the two i'm talking about which is the variance so when you come to this variance you max your skin like i taught you and come over to your point color click on this and just click on the skin like this now once you click on the skin it's going to select it over here then you can come to your variance over here and you can change the skin color what this does it tries to rhyme the skin color together with everything it gives it the same color so if you realize if you zoom into this place and you see there are some kind of if you check the highlights some part are reddish a little bit and some are light so what i'm just going to do is come over to my variance and just take this down like this and you see that everything is having the same color that what variance is for i love this tool you can actually use it the next tool i'm going to be talking about is the export button in camera filter it's used to send probably jpegs to clients if you are done with shooting high-end pictures for your clients and you just want to send them the jpeg for them to select you can use camera filter to select and also export the low quality file for them most people only know about lightroom but let me show you how to do it on Photoshop, which is way easy. So once you have your raw pictures like this, you can select fast. If you want to select the bad ones, you can just go through them like this. Look for the bad ones. Okay, like now we have these two. You can just click delete and delete ASAP. And what you just have to do is to click on Command A on Mac like this. It's going to select everything you have your picture selected come over to this button you are seeing over here and click on it and you are going to have your save option over here once you have it come to your same save in same location or come and save in new location select another folder we can come to desktop and let's say um i choose to use this folder and then select it now the quality you want to reduce the quality because you're just sending the low quality file to your client to select that picture it's very fast let's watch and see so come back to your quality take it to about medium and you can leave the quality at five and what you can check you can just check down here and there's really nothing to select over here and come to save now if you check over here camera of filter is trying to save everything you've done now our file has been saved come over to the folder where we show you you can just click done because i don't want it to open in my photoshop so just click done so it's all gone and come to where i saved it and click here and if you scroll down you see that we have our jpeg file ready for us see you all in my next video bye